Hey y'all, what's going on? Rob here, Square Wheels Automotive. Back here in, in the office uh, with another one today, just kind of answering a lot of the questions that you guys have about the AU car Mark V Tesla style screen for the Infiniti Q50. So somehow I have uh, unexpectedly become the subject matter expert uh, for these devices, or at least a subject matter expert for these devices. Uh, I got it a couple months ago. I've been running it and loving it. I actually started reselling these things. So check me out on my website. Um, every purchase supports the channel. So I really appreciate you guys going through me. If you end up going through AU car, you can still use my coupon code and that helps out too. So check it out, link in the description uh, for, for all your options. But let me answer a question that has been coming in a lot. It's coming in from a lot of you that are curious about this device. Uh, which is clearly an Android device, um, but you sheeple, uh, people, you people have uh, iPhones, right? Uh, so what I did was I went out and got an iPhone XR, you know, not the latest and greatest, but you know, it's come out in the last couple years. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through setting up CarPlay on your iPhone um, and then connecting the AU Car Mark V to your CarPlay setup. Getting out to the garage, I'll see you guys out there. Okay, so here I am in the car. I've got the iPhone, and what I've done is completely uh, disabled all CarPlay, so we can start at the very beginning uh, with setup. To access CarPlay, on top navigation, there is a button called Car Auto. There you go right there. And Car Auto, right now, out of the box, is linked to an app called Z-Link. And here's where you will access your CarPlay or Android Auto. Now, I've got my iPhone here. And I've gone, let me take it all the way back to the beginning. In my settings, there is a tab called General. And then with that, there is a tab called CarPlay. I've clicked that and I can see my device here and it's already detected my car which is square wheels surprise surprise I've got CarPlay in this menu currently disabled but you'll see when I enable it it says connecting so here we are in CarPlay now on the device so you'll find that it's fairly responsive any of the CarPlay compatible apps that you've got on your phone will display on the screen and this is all happening wirelessly right so what it's doing is sending out CarPlay over the Wi-Fi and this device is connected through it through Wi-Fi um, so it's really just an extension of your phone so Spotify will open Spotify you, know, you can click in and play Again, pretty low latency, pretty quick. I've got the volume all the way down, but there you go. I don't want to get any copyright things, so. But yeah, that's it. So clearly CarPlay works just fine with this device. Again, with an Apple iPhone, um, all your ways, all your navigation, you know, fairly responsive, but just keep in mind it is happening over Wi-Fi. Now I haven't tested this wire. So I've had a chance to uh, kind of play around with this interface. I've taken it on my daily drive, just dropping my kid off at daycare. CarPlay is cool, right? It's really responsive. It's got, um, it basically uses just this space as a screen as an extension of your phone. And it refactors some applications that you've got installed on your phone. So it can be used on your car's screen. So of all the apps I've got on my phone, only a percentage of them port over to CarPlay. So not all apps that you have on your phone will display on CarPlay. Um, I find that a little bit limiting because if you go the alternate route, which is use the Tesla screen as 
you know, a full Android device, then you've got access to all, any app in the Play Store, right? So if you go down the CarPlay route, you're essentially limited to just the apps that are ported over to CarPlay. Um, but that's really the only complaint. The apps that are ported over work extremely well. I haven't had any glitches. I can jump between the apps perfectly fine. Um, multitasking seems really cool. There isn't really any issue getting into any of this stuff. It works just as um, seamlessly as if this were my actual uh, phone. So I can say uh, pretty good things about that. So I ran into one issue that I think is less of an issue and more of a pro tip. So the iPhone is incapable of providing a hotspot and CarPlay simultaneously. I'm guessing it's because it sends a signal to the unit over Wi-Fi. So if you're sending this CarPlay signal and you're sending Wi-Fi internet to it, then maybe it's overloading or something like that. So CarPlay and Hotspot do not work hand in hand. If you're using CarPlay, disable Hotspot and vice versa. If you're using a Hotspot, don't try to use CarPlay because it can only do one thing at a time. This is not related to the unit at all. This is just the way the iPhones work. So there you have it. I hope that answers your questions. Uh, if there are any additional questions, just go ahead, hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If there's anything else you want me to test out or try or demo, also let me know. Uh, I do think these screens are awesome. I think the addition of CarPlay is an awesome option. Um, also, I did get word from AU Car that December, early December, I'm going to be getting a prototype device. Now don't get too excited this is still very early on in their process um, but it is a major milestone now they do have a, a product that they've got um, slated for release to consumers but it's probably going to be glitchy it's probably going to have a, a lot of iterations of testing and iterations of software so i'm partnering with them to kind of go through and prepare a device that is ready for your consumption realistically it'll probably be february or march of 2022 when you'll be able to start ordering these devices and installing them yourselves so sit tight stay tuned i'm going to bring you guys along on the process um, so go ahead hit that subscribe button if it's something that you're interested in if not i'll see you on the other side Peace.